I've got the future right here in my hands. Back in April, Matt and John, the founders of IQ Motion Control, stopped by my workshop to hand deliver some of these prototypes to me. You may have seen a video of an early prototype being tested out a few months ago. It's the same power system I pulled off that sick wall plant with at Quad Camp Detroit. And they're one of the reasons why I haven't really posted any 3D videos lately. I sent back my original uh, prototypes for further testing and I just really haven't felt like flying 3D without them. I mean, they're really a game-changing technology, not just for 3D pilots, but for racing pilots, long-range pilots, anyone looking to get the edge on hardware. Without further ado, let's unbox these IQ Motion Control Speed Modules, shall we? <laughs> What makes these so special? Well, from the hardware side, they use a specially developed magnetic rotary encoder built directly into the motor and ESC combo of the module. It's basically a super fancy Hall effect sensor, and while RC cars have a sensor motor, they use three discrete Hall sensors. It's pretty boring. With the magnetic encoder and the IQ motion control motors, they can do vector control, which gives increased efficiency and power. Similar to the censored RC motors, they can reverse without any delay. They can just do it much faster since their technology uses all three phases of the motor. To wire up the motor, you have direct battery voltage pads on the top of the motor. And on the bottom, we have pads for ground, PWM signal, and telemetry. It's a really clever design, putting all the electronics right where they need to be, and gives you an overall cleaner setup when building. But what does it all mean? For 3D, we have instant and smooth transitions. It also means smoother operation of the motor, removing vibrations that are caused by conventional electronic speed controllers and motors. This also results in increased efficiency and allows for a host of other features, like boost mode, that will make a 20 volt battery feel like a 21 volt battery. Similarly, it can make these 2200 kV modules feel more like 2300 kV. Warning, the words you're about to hear are incredibly geeky and may be pronounced incorrectly. Most motors have a sinusoidal back EMF, so they want sine waves going through them. But three phase inverters, normally SCs, actually want to make square trapezoids. If we drive a sinusoidal motor with true trapezoidal com commutation, not the same as fake trapezoidal commutation like normal ESCs, since they don't actually drive the diagonal part, then we'll get little boosts of power which averages out to 4.8%. WTF is voltage compensation. The motor controller translates the D-shot messages slash PWO microseconds as volts, rather than fractions of battery voltage. This means the motor will behave exactly the same way for a given D-shot value slash PDO microsecond, no matter what the battery voltage is, as long as the battery voltage is higher than the request. So the machine will feel the same, and you essentially just lose the top end of your throttle as your battery depletes. I've only flown these motors in voltage compensation mode, and I absolutely love the way they fly. They also feature a PWM mode for those that like having battery side. Are you ready for the future of drones? These new speed modules enable a whole new type of machinery to be built that can fly in any dimension like the hollow mnemonic aerial vehicle. Even can accurately control the motor mid-spin while it's flying to enable next generation of control mechanisms. So let's build up the next generation of 3D machine and take it for a test in. Woo! Play, 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 play. <laughs> Let 
let the record play and get your head knocked. Okay, so I just got done flying the five cell setup and the motors are pissed! Like they have a, a nice smell to them that's not burnt, it's not hot. Like generally when I fly five cell, my motors will get hot. Like not just hot, but like hot. Like so hot they will burn you hot. These things are actually cool to the touch, which is surprising actually. Um, you definitely feel the increased punch like I wasn't used to the fact that this machine has so much power on tap now Before flying the IQ setup on 4 cell with their previous prototype they had a voltage limited to 17 volts and Essentially it was like a, a low 4 cell battery and I, di I didn't feel like I had enough kick but now on 5 cell with the voltage uh, compensation mode it essentially feels like it's got way too much punch on um, 5 cell, which is weird because I don't feel like I've ever had too much punch when I'm flying 3D. So congratulations IQ, you finally made a motor that breaks my brain. <laughs> Hello? Is this working? Hey you, listen! The future of drones as we know is in danger of being changed forever. Forces at work are trying to take your rights as pilots away, and if you don't do something now, it may be too late. Join the FPV Freedom Coalition today and contact your senators. Protect Section 336 and fight for your rights as pilots to fly freely. Don't let the forces of evil win! Quickly! Check the links in the description of this video to find out how to fight before it's too late! <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that's my review. Hopefully you found it helpful. I know that was a lot of fun and uh, these motors are pretty awesome. So go check out iqcontrol.com and uh, get your motors now on crowd supply. <laughs>